Holy shit, what a mess I woke up to. So a lot of you know that I used to watch The Angry Grandpa pretty, you know, pretty frequently, and it was pretty much my favorite channel on YouTube for a while. However, recently I kind of, you know, strayed away from it a little bit because obviously, um, recently the videos have been, I would say, a little less well-produced in the fact that, you know, before you could watch it, and you couldn't just straight out say it was fake and, you know, it was super believable, but at this point, you know, they've, they've kind of stopped going for super realism and they're just you know going for the topic i would say but a huge situation broke out last night between michael from kid behind the camera obviously he's the one who started the show and their brother charlie who also has a youtube channel called charlie chill which i think by the way is a stupid fucking name although my name's optimus so i can't really say much about you know stupid names anyways if you don't know the situation because i know it's pretty early i don't know what time this video is coming up but it it happened pretty late last night um Apparently, Michael and Bridget were out doing something, and they get, like, this phone call saying that their brother Charlie, who has been staying with them, is just whacked the fuck out. He's, like, in the yard, naked, running around, jumping in the pool, destroying their pool house, just fucking being an idiot. So they end up going home, and whenever they get there, Michael said that he's just, like, standing in the yard with his pants on his head, just screaming at the top of his lungs, and he's, like, you know, trying to get him in the house, like... You know, they've got neighbors and everything. And apparently Charlie, like, lunges at him like an animal and just, like, starts, you know, going fucking stupid. And Michael goes in the house. Bridget calls the police. So when the police arrive, Charlie is obviously being belligerent and he's, uh, he's like, lunging at people. So he almost got tased by the cops. And eventually, you know, they, you know, they pretty much get him down. They stop him from, you know, acting a fool anymore. Apparently, Charlie almost also burned his whole finger off with a blowtorch, and it was, like, charred. And he starts telling Michael that he's gonna start telling the world all these lies, like AGP molested their cousin, and Michael fucks his animals. I'm sorry, that one's a little funny, I'm not gonna lie. And so, everything's okay, there's actual video of, you know, the police and the paramedics taking him off and everything that's in Michael's vlog, which I will link down in the description because it has a lot of proof. So, eventually, the hospital decides, hey, we're gonna release... The guy who admitted to the police that he was on acid or LSD, it was one of the two, Michael said both, but, you know, I don't know. So he admitted that he was on LSD and that he had been drinking, so the hospital's like, fuck it, you know, we're releasing him. He comes back, Charlie comes back to the house and punches Bridget in the face. Michael said he went to confront him. I don't know if I believe that. Michael's been sort of a puss in the past. But then again, this is his girlfriend getting punched in the face. I think most guys in that situation would, you know, at least confront him. He said he was going to go beat the hell out of him. And Charlie pulled a shard of broken glass on Michael. So obviously the police got called again to de-escalate the situation. And Charlie got arrested for... You know, pretty much got arrested for good at that point. He tried to tell the police that it wasn't him who destroyed all that shit, that it was Michael, but obviously the police had already been there, and they saw him, you know, whacked out on drugs. So Charlie's getting charges pressed on him, apparently. They said at first that the police, you know, said, well, you're probably not going to get away with filing charges because you allowed him to be here in the first place because he was staying there because he got thrown out of Angry Grandpa's house. And the reason that that happened apparently was not told on YouTube at the time, but Charlie had recently given an eight-year-old nephew of his marijuana and alcohol. Yeah, apparently the kid told both Michael and Angry Grandpa, basically in front of Charlie, that uh, Charlie was, like, drunk, and he kind of called him into his room and just straight up gave him some pot and gave him some beer or something. I don't know if he gave him... He's been drinking Jack Daniels and shit like that, too, so you don't know. So that's why he got thrown out. Michael thought that, you know... He wasn't that bad that he just needed a little bit of help, so he let him kind of, you know, stay at his house, stay in the pool house, I guess. Gave him a PlayStation and everything, and he just fucking destroyed everything. And this drug rage, I mean, that's really all you can call it, it was like a drug rage. I mean, now while I think a lot of the Angry Grandpa Show stuff is faked, and, you know, they do a lot of that stuff, you know, just to get views and stuff, nothing really wrong with that. I mean, it, it is somewhat entertaining, I would say. I don't think that this was fake, because... Even, like, off-camera when they were, like, interviews and stuff, they've openly admitted that Charlie was a really bad alcoholic in the past. And, I mean, why would they be lying now if this is the case? Plus, there's actual video evidence. Like I said, it's in Michael's vlog. I'm not gonna, you know, strip his whole video down, but I'm gonna link it down there if you wanna go watch that. He explains the story firsthand. He's got video proof. I don't think this is fake. I think it's real. I think the video evidence was real because those were actual police. That was an actual police car. You know, I don't think it was fake. 
Charlie has always been a drug abuser. I don't know if he's always, you know, been doing like hardcore shit, but I know that he's done alcohol. He's just been on alcohol. He's an alcoholic really bad, and he's been that way for a long time. I'm sure that he's been doing acid and LSD for a long time, too. If, you know, he's in Michael's pool house just fucking dropping him, you know what I'm saying? I don't think Charlie's ever going to change. His family is actually pretty scared that he's going to end up killing himself over this. I know Michael said something on Twitter about him possibly killing himself. His sister said something about it, too, on Twitter. Michael said that Charlie might murder him. I don't know if that's the case, but, I mean, fuck, he did pull a shard of glass on him, and he did attack Bridget. You never fucking know. This dude's a nutcase, and he's a fucking druggie. You never know. Bottom line, Charlie should just never be allowed around his family again. I mean, Michael already said that this is the last straw. I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm pretty sure Angry Grandpa's pretty upset about the whole situation, too. He's probably not going to want him back around. And he, regardless, he should never be around kids again. I mean, if he's just, if he's open to just, like, fuck it, mask off, eight-year-old gets some weed and alcohol, you know... Probably not the best guy to have around your kids. Michael keeps expressing some sort of, like, really heavy remorse. Like, he he feels bad that he didn't tell everybody about, you know, Charlie giving his nephew that shit. Honestly, I don't blame him because there's just some things that you can't put on YouTube. Obviously, this is a family that broadcasts most of their life onto YouTube and stuff like that. Like, they do vlogs and all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, something like that, it should be able to be handled internally. I have no problem with them not making a YouTube video about it, but he did actually include some video and stuff like that from the situation in that video once again. I'm going to keep referring back to that video because it has all the video evidence and everything. He talks about the whole situation firsthand. Anyways, that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like, share this video. If you haven't seen Michael's video, please go watch it. It's in the description. It's probably way better than this video for explaining the situation. I just wanted to talk about it because, like, I was really into this family and watching all their channels and stuff like that back in the day. And over the past couple months, I, you know, I kind of shied away from it because, I don't know, I just haven't enjoyed the quality of the videos recently. But this is just a fucking crazy situation. Regardless, Charlie's channel went from like 106k, it's down to like 94,000 as of 9 o'clock, which is what time it is right now. So, he's dropping subscribers pretty quick. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten his channel completely deleted because during his drug rage, he also posted a bunch of porn onto his YouTube channel. But regardless, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, guys, this is Optimus signing out.